look i have three types of books yeah and uh, i gave my book to somebody i know so he said your book is very good said, sir uh, generally we say thank you but that day i thought sir what did you like about the book so he said the thickness of your book is perfect whenever i do video call then i have to put some but something below my laptop so that it comes to <laughs> camera comes to eye level so it nicely fits below the laptop <laughs> <laughs> so different people can use it in a different manner <laughs> uh look when the the first book which i wrote uh, was a story book it is like a simple story uh, 10 lines of a story which you can read and uh, yeah. you can laugh at those stories but at the same time they will give you a little tinkle in your mind so mm-hmm. if you are fond of uh, say reading horoscope every day that what is going to happen to my life or quote of the day something like that then it is good to have that book open one page of that book read it and you will get your quote of the day second thing what you can do with that book is uh, you can actually read those stories they are quick to remember and if you remember those stories you can actually use them in your day to day life for uh, stories are something uh, which uh, our grandparents have been using not even grandparents uh, like humanity has been using for long yeah for passing mm-hmm. on the culture why because the stories is stick so if you want to convey a message convey it in form of a story that is sticks and that's why uh, these two story books and uh, anyone or everyone can read it i have a 11 year old uh, um nephew who read both the books and he took hardly 30 minutes and he has started creating his own stories so mm. that's very good i was able to inspire a 11 year old mm. as far as decision making book is concerned uh, i got a compliment from uh, two people one person uh runs a large business in a large company yeah, i am not going to name him he said uh, um this is one book which i have got you have actually defined the leadership and uh, you have not gone for what leadership is right you have written it in a very practical manner that i can understand how i make decisions and how i can improve my decision making and second compliment mm. i got from um the third publisher who actually published my hr books he read the other book and after publishing he read the book so leaders decide i presented him a copy i did not think he is going to read it he read it he prepared notes and he is discussing every week with his people in the organization and he says uh, this book would not have come at a right time there are so many frameworks which i can use to build culture and make my decision making strong in the organization so that book is basically for the business people who are running businesses uh, mm-hmm. and it covers almost all aspects of decision making and hr book uh, hr book is one book which i have not uh, talked about much mm. uh, one because i was thinking this is a very costly book who is going to buy and uh, this publisher is taking a risk means uh, if you ask me buy a book of uh, 8000 rupees i will say nahi chodo but he divided the book in three parts he is still selling it for 8000 right now uh, he has given a 50% discount on books and this book is uh, selling like hotcake mm-hmm. um 
and i wanted to know that who is buying this book hmm then i came across a young hr professional she came up to me she said i bought your book and i asked her why did you buy the book so she said uh, look i work with a small company and i am running the hr mm-hmm. and there are lot of practical problems uh, i need to solve those problems on my own even if i have a mentor i can't call my mentor again and again i yeah. found this book very good anything any concept i need it is there in a pictorial manner in simple language in depth so i can deal with hr of my organization on my own using mm. this as a encyclopedia or a guide so that is the usage of uh, the three types of books which i have written yeah very nice um coming to the next important piece uh, we we are into the hr you know and which is which is a larger role to play for the organization transformation and all these blah blah things if if we see your story from uh, that older nicolas piramal days to to the journey towards the geo and what so many things have happened the digitalization and so many you know other things have happened people have you know entire hr has changed lms is in place so many things are happening how do you see the transformation and the innovation happens maybe in the future i will tell you a story and this is again related to a book so i got a call from a friend so he said hey congratulations this was my first book it got published it got published on kindle so mm-hmm. yeah congratulations i said thank you uh, you have got a book but i am not going to read your book i said <laughs> why what happened why will you not read my book uh-huh. he said because it is on kindle and i don't have kindle so i said you uh-huh. actually don't need kindle uh-huh. to read a kindle book you can read it on your phone yeah the point i am making here is many a times we think that we don't have tools yeah or technology to uh, leverage but that is not true the technology is all around us point is whether we are using it or whether we want to use it i had a friend called prasad he was 70 years old he mm. he is 70 years old so um he had to go to the pension office uh, every year to declare that i am alive then only the pension comes yes so when pandemic hit so he was in tension ke now my pension will not come how will i survive i have to go to pension office i can't go outside i said don't worry prasad i will figure it out for you so i called hmm. the pension office pension office said sir no problem uh we will do a whatsapp call he will come on the call and we will verify that he is alive and he will get his pension very nice so i mm. thought prasad will be very happy mm. prasad was furious he said if they had this technology they mm. had this technology for 10 years but they made me run for 10 years now they are saying it can be done this way why mm. it could not have been done earlier Hmm. the thing is if we talk about technology in nature technology in nature has been around for ages nothing hmm. is whether we are using it and thing is whether we are using it the way it is to be used if you see uber has come now uh, how does uber hire do you have a written test for uber do you have I a recruiter know. in uber driver goes to the app and says i am so and so this is my license and you are hired as a uber driver then why are we not doing the same for frontline jobs why we have to interview why we have to do four kinds of tests and all that why can't we just take a certificate 
that okay you know this job and hire hmm. just look at the performance management system customer gives the feedback you are five star four star three star if you are three star or below then you no longer can drive uber and this is not only true with uber the same is true with airbnb mm. Mm-hmm. Same is true with Swiggy. Same is true with the Urban Club. Mm-hmm. Same is true with Amazon. New age organizations have already come in and they have started using mm-hmm. technology in HR. What we are trying mm-hmm. to do is, I will tell you. Uh, I met a student. He said our college has gone for technology. Is using technology. so this time we are going to have online test mm. they said okay that's great so how are they taking online test well it's so they will send the question paper to us and they will watch us on camera and we will write on the paper and then we will scan mm. the paper and upload it then they are going to download the paper they are going to check it and upload the marks you are finding it funny but this was actually happening uh-huh. that's how we use technology uh-huh. we don't say that technology has to be a singular platform where your customer and supplier both come together and the business happens on the platform uh-huh. if we start treating technology in a similar manner most of the processes we think of might not exist in traditional mm-hmm. hr and there are new processes which might emerge which we have not even thought of mm-hmm. so we are in a evolution journey in hr as far as technology is concerned that is what my take is mm-hmm. wonderful uh uh second last question is uh, uh, what is the, the larger role of hr uh, i see the two type of organization uh, the type of a type of of organization where everybody talks about hr hr is predominantly visible at every place and uh, uh, everybody talks about hr because they take care of the employee well being salary leaves everything their increment appraisal from uh, uh, onboarding to the offboarding uh, hire to retire and all this entire life cycle second type of hr is there who are working in silos at the you know at the background you know the nobody knows that whether they are there or not people approaches them whenever they don't see the salary is credited properly or the less salary is credited where it got credited something so uh, these two type of hrs how do you see the the bigger larger role of hr in the organizational development f and and how someone can really increase to notice this hr is doing something otherwise it's just like a movie got hit and everybody is talking about the hero in the heroine and the singer nobody knows the background people that how the shole got hit or maybe any bigger movie maybe pushpa or something no we are talking about you know all their allu arjun and everything but nobody know that that there was a person who was holding a light nobody know that there was a person who was making a scene and finding you know the things so i feel that 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 hr should be miss i i would like to know from you and and your opinion on this look tell me blood is important in the body or not sorry i am losing you yeah 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 i am there yeah is is blood important in the body or not absolutely 100% <laughs> without blood you can't actually live mm. and blood is the only thing which goes into your heart and comes mm. out of your heart mm. so hr is like that do you need to talk about it how many times you talk about blood you talk about space yeah so when you are saying people talk about hero and heroine that's what uh, uh, they should be talking about what organization is doing for the customer 
best everyone is enabler look we have our own shows hr uh, gatherings where we recognize the good work which is happening in the hr side yeah so it is not that hr doesn't have a platform but with an organization it is a team which matters the most mm-hmm. if everyone doesn't work together and we start saying no hr is more important or finance is more important or sales is more important point is organization is more important your customer is more important rather than independent functions if you are thinking about anything other than your customer you are making a mistake because uh, it is not about any function or anything else it is about customer whether customer is okay or not 